Hi, my name is Brian Reese and I'm with Easy Flow Tectorials. And today we're going to teach you about PowerPoint. And we're going to take it in bite-sized pieces. So today we won't overwhelm you, but I do want to show you how to create a presentation, how to put together a title and a subtitle, how to change fonts, how to change font colors, how to use the prefabricated designs in PowerPoint to set up your design, also how to create a folder and save a file. If you're not familiar with those things, this will be the exact thing that you need to hear and the exact uh, tutorial for you. If not, if you're looking for something a little more advanced, you can look at one of our other classes. But right now we're starting from scratch and we're going to use bite-sized pieces so that you can learn a little bit at a time. So that when you get to a place where you really need these things, you'll actually have access to them and have practiced them along the way. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and click the icon wherever your, I your, photo your, your uh, PowerPoint icon is go ahead and click that and open up PowerPoint once you've opened up PowerPoint you want to go and find where it says blank presentation as you see here on my screen is in the upper left hand corner yours could be on the right could be somewhere else but however it should say blank presentation and at, the, at most of yours if you have um, Windows 2010 Office 2010 or Office 2007 it'll have a button under it that says create you want to click that create button if not if you have Office 2013 which is what I have just go ahead and click once on the presentation and it pulls up a blank presentation for you which is always wonderful now that you're here go ahead and click here where it says click to add title it says click to add title because that's where they want you to add your title okay so you go ahead and click and we'll just call it title okay easy for cheesy if you don't like the font this is how you change it go ahead and click right in front of the word drag your cursor to the right till you see gray release your cursor but don't release your finger on the button but don't move it and you'll see this pop up okay the shortcut screen now you can change your font here by going down to Arial, which is where I'm going okay or you can leave it like it is it's up to you you can change the size here to whatever size you choose or you can use these buttons to just kind of go up and down and make to see how it looks to you okay all right increase and decrease so once you're done just click anywhere outside of the box and it's, it's it's good to go now of course that means that your subtitle is too small now so what you can do is where it says click to add subtitle you go ahead and type in subtitle okay now click outside the box for a second come back in highlight it and go ahead and choose either bold and then you can increase the size of your subtitle so that it's not that much smaller than your title and you can actually see it it doesn't overwhelm it but it actually kind of gives it some substance to me okay maybe you have some other way you want to do it that's fine too now the next thing we want to do is go ahead and see how this looks in a slideshow just for a minute just to kind of get an idea I like to see the entire page starting out when I'm planning my design so I go ahead and click slideshow click from beginning because only one slide so you can't miss it can't mess it up not in, just impossible to mess this up okay and take a look at it it's a big white blank screen now that means I need to add some color okay I need to add some kind of design to it go ahead and tap escape on your keyboard it should be in the upper right hand corner escape okay now click back on the screen again click home okay now now that you're at home okay I just want to give you a starting point to always go back to we're going to look across the top of the screen and should be over two to the right it will say design okay go ahead and click design go home go to the right click design and it'll give you a list of designs that it will show you actually show you automatically what it's going to look like when you add it to your presentation now don't click on it unless you actually want it so just go ahead and slide across and find the one that you like we're gonna stop here okay where it says title and subtitle Okay, it has the information that you've already put in there now understand that when you click this button this design is going to carry over to the other slides so if you don't want this this particular design through your entire slide your entire slideshow don't click it here okay but we're going to go ahead and do that today just for uh, practice sake. Okay, go ahead and click it. It's done. It shows up in the left hand corner here as the color of the slides that you're going to use. Now, or the design of the slides that you're going to use. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and click home again. We're not going home for nothing this time. 
because once you click home down here about under insert between dessert uh, insert and design I must be hungry insert and design you see new slide okay now you don't want to click where it says new slide you want to click the slide just above it okay when you're ready to change don't click it yet but go ahead and click this arrow next to new slide when you click that it gives you the design of the particular presentation um, slides that you can use okay you have two content comparison title only you have your blank um, blank is very useful when you're putting in pictures and that kind of thing you can use it for that or you just want to make a, a bold statement like wow or whatever you can do it on a blank just on a blank presentation slide okay so right now we're going to go back up to where it says title and content I don't want to overwhelm you title and content so now say you're on the next page so you want to talk about fashion okay that's the title of the slide fashion this particular portion of it so you go to the next one where it says clicks the um, click down in the bottom here where I am now okay and you go ahead and add whatever the first step is or where whatever the first bullet point is say women in fashion okay then the next one might be children in fashion and you might want to do a history on it okay so you see as you continue down it opens up more uh, bullets as you go down now of course we see here that the word fashion is a different font and a different size than what you had on the, the previous page now what we're going to do is understand that when you create the the design that whatever font that design is in is the font that's going to be here okay so we want to go ahead and change that to Arial. how do we do that we click in front of it drag it to the right wait till the little box opens here go ahead and click the arrow and then go down to where it says Arial. I understand that if you're this is your first time using a computer it could be pretty difficult to do this but just practice makes perfect if you keep on doing it you're bound to do, do great later on so we're going to go ahead and increase the size just a tad yeah about there is fine now you completed the project now we're going to go ahead and go back to the top page and as you see here in the side every time you create a new slide it gives you a list or puts it into this list so you can kind of keep an idea of where you head it and look at the design to see if it's something that looks um, looks good to your eye if you want to change it you can always change it later but understand when you change the, 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 the design that you actually change the design that means that the fonts gonna change the colors gonna change the schemes gonna change all of that's going to change okay so I would save it before I practice so if you want to do it you need to save it before you practice or go and try other other things so let's go back to the first page by clicking the number one now that you're here click on the left side of title and highlight it okay don't move the cursor again go ahead and release the button but then you'll see here a and A with a red color under it. If you haven't been playing with it already, it should be a red color under it. Okay, uh, so you go ahead and click the little arrow next to it. Okay, drop down gives you a list of all the different colors that are available. Now here where it says more colors, it takes you to a different color scheme and that kind of thing. So I wouldn't play with that right now. Let's go ahead and just do this. We're going to choose red. Okay, choose red or any color you want to. Okay now it looks pretty good so we'll change this one to blue by doing exactly the same thing highlighting it and then going ahead and changing it to blue the same way we did the red go ahead and click the down arrow choose a blue a decent dark blue here and looks fantastic now you can do the same thing to the next page and just play with it toy with it now that you have an idea of how things work all you have to do is just go ahead and play with it and then we'll go ahead and teach you more steps as we go but I just want to give you bite-sized pieces so that you can play with it a little bit like you see this is Garmin so we'll make sure we change that to Arial again okay because we want everything to be the same okay we want the same font on all the pages as we set it up all right you have the prefabricated design you have the new presentation you have the title and subtitle you have the change of fonts you have the change of font colors you also have the prefabricated designs now what I would do now which is what we should have done at the beginning is go ahead and save this so you go up to file and save okay you to save you create a folder okay I have computer here go ahead and click browse and you go to wherever your documents are 
and go ahead and go up to the top here where it says new folder okay go ahead and say new folder I would call it practice okay good deal now go ahead and click double click on the folder open it up and your presentation shows up at the bottom you just type in the name of the presentation call that practice one I would say put your name in there test one okay then come down to the right where it says cancel and save and of course you want to save it not cancel it okay now your presentation is saved and you've completed your first class alright you have a great day and hopefully we'll see you in the next training classes and believe me bite-sized pieces is the only way to go have a great day could you also do me a favor and like this page and also subscribe have a great day now bye bye